Hey guys and welcome to the Glastonbury Festival site. And Glastonbury Festival 2019 is only two months away, so we thought we would give you a little tour around the festival site and what it looks like right now. We have now just arrived at the West Holtz field and they're actually erecting the West Holtz stage right now and they've actually changed the angle of the stage ever so slightly. Normally it's kind of facing towards me right now but they've kind of twisted it a bit more across the field and fun fact that is where the Brothers Bar is. It's a shame it's not there now because I can quite happily have a nice cold cider. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we've now just arrived in the Greenpeace area. It changes pretty much every year, depending on what Greenpeace is actually campaigning for. For instance, they could have like a huge cruise ship or oil tanker or something over here and like raised up walk area, which goes around some different food places. Sometimes they have a bit of a skate park and stuff over there. <laughs> But more importantly, just about here is one of mine and Holly's favourite food places and they serve incredible stone-baked pizzas. What else can you ask for? Cider in that field and pizza in this field. <laughs> pizza! So we are now in the sacred space and behind me is the stone circle and this place gets super busy because it's such a nice place just to come and chill out and there is also a dragon, an actual dragon hidden somewhere in this field. And can you guys guess what's in this completely empty field behind me right here? This is the Avalon field, where the Avalon stage is situated just here on the left hand side. <laughs> They also have the Helter Skelter. This is actually a quite an awesome lookout point from up here. Look at it! Wowzers! Can you actually get a lot of speed? <laughs> and they also build that huge double story Avalon Inn pub, which is just down behind me on that field right there. And me and Holly and all of our friends always make our way over to the Avalon field, the Avalon stage, on the Thursday to see the opening act because that is when Hobo Jones plays, which is always such a cool and fun kind of like introduction to that Avalon stage. So Hobo Jones be there. Hopefully they'll be opening again this year. They're on the lineup, so I assume they'll be opening it. Hobo Jones, the jump the outdoor. And now we're back onto the railway and pretty much all of the fields behind me right here is the southeast corner. Starting off on the left hand side here you have the unfair ground and then down just in this field here is block 9 and then a bit further on we have Shangri-La and the common which we'll go check out now. Now in the common, and if I was going to hazard a guess to what these cones are for, I believe it's where the temple will be built. That place is flipping incredible. It's called the Temple, which actually used to be the Colosseum, but this is brand new this year. That whole 360 experience of those lights and the sounds, literally, that just blew my mind. So coming out of the common, over the railway, this is now Shangri-La, which is usually themed on something really political, but it is also my favorite place in the site, just because it's so different. But this year, I have a feeling it's gonna be about Brexit. But if you think differently, let us know in the comments what you think this theme will be this year. Everywhere you go, there's just so much like see and do and look at and like, you never get bored. Ever, ever get bored. You just constantly just walk and explore. So if you've never been to Glastonbury before, one thing you need to realize is how big and vast the site actually is. It can take you hours to walk from one side to the other and you can easily get lost. But good news for you is they're actually building loads of new monorail stops this year to help people get around the site a lot easier. So at the other end of the railway, this is the other stage, which is the second biggest stage in the festival. 
and there's actually nothing here yet. And then straight over this way leads to the park. And once we walk up to the park, which is on my right hand side in this field over here, if we actually spin round to the left hand side, this is where a new section or new area is going to be, which is called the pier. And I believe it's going to be carved towards that big tree over there, but we don't quite know yet because it's a new thing for this year. So this is the park and over there will be the park stage. And over here, this is where the ribbon tower will be. What we're about to do now is what I tell everybody to do if you've never been to Glastonbury before really? and that yeah. is to walk up to the Glastonbury sign which is one of the tallest and highest points which looks across the whole festival and is definitely something I would recommend doing at least once when you're here at the festival. It's kind of a bit of a hard slog to get up this hill but the views are incredible. Yeah. Trust me, if you've never been before you have to do this on your very very first time at Glastonbury. It will literally blow your mind because as far as the eye can see is literally the whole festival and every time I come up here I'm blown away by just how big and vast the festival is. It makes me go all tingly just thinking about it right now. In this area here this is Arcadia which has always been known for that big spider stage which fired big fireballs up into the air but apparently this year they're actually getting rid of that spider stage and having a brand new installation which I'm so excited to see what they have to offer this year. So we are now technically backstage of the pyramid. And now last but not least this is obviously the pyramid stage behind us right now and as you can see they've already started doing their work on it by putting the cover over it because it normally is just like an empty shell all year round. have enjoyed this video of the site walk around and it has got you just as excited for Glastonbury Festival as we are right now. And if you guys want to come to mine and Holly's meetup we always do a meetup on the pyramid stage field at the tree at the other end of the uh, the pyramid stage just you know the, the tree over there. Yeah, I know it's early but energy. <laughs> okay three two one. Welcome to Glastonbury 2017! We always do the meetup at 12 o'clock midday. midday on the Thursday. If you want to come over and hang out with both me and Holly, Hello, bring a cider. Bring a cider. We can have a little chat, a little <laughs> chinwag about Glastonbury. <laughs> But anyway, that's enough from us today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll uh, hopefully see you at Glastonbury. See you at Glastonbury. <laughs>